Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I will show you how to create smoky kind of a uh, glamorous look. <laughs> I was planning on doing natural but it turned out not natural which is kind of cool. I like the way it turned out. So if you want to see how to create this look, please keep on watching. I already have some foundation on, contour, and I did my eyebrows and now I will do my eyes. First product I will be using is Giorgio Armani and this is eye tint in shade 23. What I will do, I'll just put on top of my hand, oh, just like this, yeah. And then I will take small flat brush, looks like this, you can use any brush you like as long as it's small and flat. I'll take some product. First, I will apply it on top of my lid, kind of like halfway, almost like you would do your eyeliner. It's not as wet as I thought it would be. And you kind of want to bring the line up and then later I will connect it with the lower lid and then I'll apply it underneath and what I will do is connect the lines and bring it now up I know it looks crazy now, but trust me, it won't once I blend everything. Then I will take synthetic brush, looks like this, and it's by Luxie, and I'll just blend the edges. And what I love about cream shadows is that it's really, really, really easy to blend, and you can see it. It blends very well. And then on top of this, I will build regular eyeshadows. When you apply liquid eyeshadow, you kind of have to be fast because it dries out quick and you want to be able to blend it as fast as you can. And I can guys give you my blending tips. Tips, tip or tip, tip, yeah? Tips? Tip? Tip. Tips. <laughs> okay, and then it's I have- It's plural, this time it's plural. Okay, so my blending tip is to hold brush like right here, you know, like almost at the end of the brush. Because most people hold brush right like here and it makes it harder to blend. But if you hold it like kind of at the end, and it'll be much easier to blend the eyeshadows. Trust me, you should guys try it if you haven't. Okay. I feel like this could be like already like everyday makeup look. <laughs> I will be using this beautiful palette by Pixie and this is Ultimate Beauty Kit 5th Edition and it's face, what is it, wait, face kit because there's eyeshadows and also there's contour highlighter and blush, very, oh wait, <laughs> so it looks like this, Jordan, <laughs> what, I don't know, it's fine, <laughs> so this is what it looks like, it's very nice and very long as you can tell, <laughs> Should we just talk to each other throughout this whole tutorial? We can't, because it's kind of weird. It's like, it's like, oh. You just, you just need to realize that it's the opposite side if you're looking at a monitor. Okay, so. Welcome this to is, Hollywood, baby. This is what it looks Your like. first time on the video cameras? <laughs> okay, so most of the, uh, most of the, oh my God, it's so weird. <laughs> it's, okay, most of the colors I will be using is this, and it's matte, because I love matte. I don't know, maybe I'll add some shimmer, honestly. I haven't really planned this look. I just 
just you know i'm just gonna do it on camera i i know that i want to do like a natural smoky eye but i haven't like planned it and actually it will be my first time using this palette i never used it before so we'll see how it goes i'm sure i would love it because it looks amazing okay and uh oh i need to turn this shit off the heater yeah can you turn the heater off yeah. use nest to turn the heater off <laughs> By the way, yeah. <laughs> whenever <laughs> whenever uh, the heater comes on while you're shooting a tutorial, yeah. you gotta grab Nest. And we it. love to use Nest in our house. It's so convenient. <laughs> <laughs> and as, yeah, and I, I, I'll be able to turn off the heater right now from my <laughs> phone. <laughs> okay, off. That's it. Now it's off. No more. Oh, got quiet. See you guys. Nest. Yeah, the best. In description below <laughs> not sponsored <laughs> and I will be using small blending brush it looks like this and the first color I'll be using is there names in it no is kind of like this burgundy red color and I will apply like closer to my eyelashes and I'll just will I will build this color on top of the cream tint I love this eyeshadows. It's really, really pigmented. Wow. I like it. And what I will do is I connect my hair. The lines, the lower and bottom. This color, like the red and yeah, red and purple color is really, really good for green eyes. And I have green eyes. I know some people think I have blue eyes, but no, I have green eyes. Well, on my Instagram, sometimes I have blue eyes. I it's edit, called Facetune. I edit in Facetune because I wish I had blue eyes. I love blue eyes, blue color eyes, but I have green. I like your green eyes. Oh, thank you, John. Everyone's gonna be like, who the hell behind the camera? Who's that creepy guy? <laughs> I love your eyes. It's like uh, my videographer is like my videographer is pretty creepy. <laughs> it's it's uh it's Joe from You. <laughs> Has anybody else been watching that show You? Comment below, guys. <laughs> Let us know because we want to know your opinion. What you think about that TV show? <laughs> I mean, it's pretty cool. I liked it. Like it's I like how it ended, and I'm really excited for the second season. I almost like it as much as I like your eyes when you look right into the ring light and then shine with a crescent <laughs> shimmer. Do you have my like underwear and all my and my Let's not go and, oh, there. maybe that's kids watch you, you this. might you might have yeah, but uh, if they watch the TV show, kids, remember, are, kids are not watching the TV show. You <laughs> okay? My eye is crying right now. The guys like, should stop laughing. He's like stealing panties. Yeah, we should stop laughing because my eye is crying right now. Okay. And second step for... Second. <laughs> and same step for another eye. <laughs> okay. I like this tutorial. It's kind of like the comedy. Yeah, we're so we're just, funny. This so is just how we normally are if we don't have to like keep a straight face in a tutorial. I feel like when I don't plan the, like, the makeup look, it turns out better instead of me like planning maybe because i have like higher expectations when i plan things yeah jordan <laughs> well i think like part the difference between planning something and not planning something when you're not planning something artistic it's like truly art because you're just going at it no uh, matter what happens call me an artist jordan yeah you're an artist you're whereas sweet. if you plan something it's like you know <laughs> planned production that's true well i feel like if we're you're gonna edit this video tutorial. It's probably gonna be like one hour long if we're gonna chat like this, no? And I have eyelash extensions and uh, I will remove them very soon because I wanna start doing like super glamorous makeup look. Well, I planned this one to be natural, but I don't think it's going to be natural. It looks very like, you know, not natural, but I love it. Those eyeshadows are amazing, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm impressed. Very, very pigmented and super easy to blend. Because usually it's hard to blend matte shadows, but those are very, very easy. Mmm, I like it. So, next color I'll be using is this one. 
and I'll just I will build. Is there no, just sorry? Does that color not have a name? No, there's I'm gonna no, name it no, there's brown no. color. Yeah, it's like it's like I'm I'm I honestly I'm bad with colors. Sometimes I'm like, oh, this kind of like looks like red to me or brown. I'm I'm, I'm clay not clay clay brown red yeah, color. Yeah, it's kind of like brown and like but pinkish, I, so. I guess. I don't know. I'm not good with colors. And I'm, I'm a makeup artist. It's embarrassing. <laughs> and I will bid. I will build this color kind of like on top of this one, just moving into like transi transition color from darker, well, yeah, so I'm going from like darker, medium dark, and then lighter shade. I'm doing it the opposite. Wow, those shadows are so big and tall. <laughs> Do you want me to edit that out? <laughs> I think we're keeping it. I don't think it was as powerful, so maybe, maybe not. Subscribe if you want us, if you heard that and you liked it. <laughs> I can make it better. <laughs> Okay, then with a smaller and kind of flat brush, I will use a lighter brown shade and it's probably going to be my transition and I'll add the lighter too and like mix them together. Then I will use this light color to put, and I'll put it right here. Kind of like the highlighter, I guess. And then I will just add a little bit and lower. Now I will move to a shimmering part of this palette and I will be using, I uh, will use the lighter color right here and I'm using Synthetic Flat Brush by Luxie Guys. Those are my favorite brushes lately. Okay, and uh, I will apply this color in a corner of my eyes just like kind of highlight it then I'll use this color right here it's kind of like burgundy shimmery wow it's like moving Jordan <laughs> And I'll apply it on top of this color to make it like more, you know, to make it more puppy, puppy, <laughs> to make it, to make it pop. <laughs> uh, I'm not good at explaining sometimes. And same shade on a lower lash line. And I want to add more transition on a lower line on a lower lid and I will be using small blending brush and this kind of like taupe color I think I guess I wish it had names and I'll just put a little bit underneath so it looks more blended so all the colors are blend together mm. And with an angled flat brush like this, I will make like kind of like a eyeliner, but not really because I don't want to have like sharp eyeliner. I still kind of want to make it look smoky. I'll just apply on the outer corner of my eye and closer to the lash line.
just to add more dimension. And since I have eyelash extensions, I can't use eyeliner and that's not the look I'm going for because I want everything to be kind of smoky. And, you have, if, and if you have fallouts, don't worry about it. And I'll probably, I'll add a little bit on a lower lash line. And I just took the synthetic random brush, 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 and I'll blend. So now I'm done with eyeshadows, very quick and simple, and I will use mascara. And this one is by Maybelline Lush Discovery. Looks like this. I love this mascara because the brush is very very small and it's easy to use especially for uh, lower lashes and I'll just apply a little bit on my extensions because I don't have a lot of lashes left and I'll take clean spoolie and just brush it through And I have some fallouts. What is it? Is it fallouts, children? What is it? What's a fallout? I have no idea. <laughs> when you know, like eyeshadows, you know, here. Why are you asking? How would I know? Okay, so. I was just saying, I was, the stuff falls on the face. Yeah, the stuff that falls on my face. I think it's fallouts. I will use Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit just to like highlight and like recontour my face pretty much. Is it Tony? What's up, Tony? What is it? It's a protein bar. Are you asking if we want it right now? No, if I want it. If I want it's not good for you to have right before bed, buddy. Yeah, not right now, Tony. See what just happened? We're recording this tutorial. Tony, you want to go? You want to see? And this kid comes in. Where is he? And he's like, I want a protein bar. <laughs> when he knows we're recording. <laughs> Tony, Thanks, now you're Tony. famous on YouTube. <laughs> All right, we're going back. Moving back to Lisa. Moving back to Fallout. <laughs> and I'm using this amazing brush by Hokuhodo. I hope I pronounce it right. Hokkaido. Hokkaido, it's part of Japan. Okay, well, Jordan knows better. I'm surprised that you know Hokkaido Hodo. <laughs> Wait, let me see what it says. Hakuhodo. Oh yeah, Hakuhodo. It's not Hokkaido. Jordan almost thinks he knows was, the best. I was trying to be smart. So Hakuhodo brushes, they're very expensive, and uh, but they're worth it. They're really, really good. So if you're interested, please check them out. Really cool brand. Yeah, and I purchase, purchase it with my money. They didn't send it to me. Yeah. So, and I will use this lighter color. I think it's banana. Oh, is there? Okay, no, maybe not. And I'll just put it in the center of my face and kind of like cleaning the edges of my eyeshadows. Mm -hmm. In the middle of my forehead, on top of my nose, on right here. And I have a bigger one. And I'll just mix this two colors. Sometimes I mix three of them. Just feel like I'll have to add more, more contour because my eyes are brighter now. So it feels like I need to add more. And for the blush, I will use this Too Faced Papa Don Peach blush. <laughs> it's your nice your face. <laughs> and it's my favorite blush. It, yeah, as you can tell, it's like so messy. Oh my god. <laughs> it's very, very pretty 
peachy color with like golden 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 highlights in it and for highlighter i'm using ofra palette and it's midi palette spiced velvet and the color i will be using is blissful which is the lighter color right here very very pretty You can see it. Can you see your hand? You're not impressed. <laughs> I would call that like aluminum robot color. Oh my god. It's making you like very shiny. I'll put it on top of my lip. So that's why you always taste weird when I kiss you. <laughs> yeah, right. And under under the bra line bra bleh. Under the bra line. <laughs> yeah, under the bra line. Under the Highbrow <laughs> on a broad bond, that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> and on top of my nose to make it look slimmer. And then everyone is gonna ask me if I did a nose job. Right, Mm hmm. <laughs> okay, for the lips, I'm using Bobbi Brown lip pencil, and this is. Cocoa, how do you say this? Cocoa. <laughs> Cocoa. Cocoa. Wait, cacao, cacao. Should do it over against cacao. Cacao. Yeah. For the lip, I will be using Bobbi Brown lip pencil and the shade cacao. <laughs> you had a real hard time saying that. Cacao. <laughs> I think it's cocoa, no? Cacao. Cocoa, cacao, tomato, tomato. Okay. It's all the same. For the lip planner, for the. Ugh. For my lips, I will use Bobbi Brown lip planner and a shade cacao. You really just did that over again? <laughs> okay, get, get on like, with it. Okay, cacao, and I can't say that name. Why did I call this lip pencil the hardest name to pronounce, for me at least? <laughs> I will go ahead, outline my lips and kind of fill it in and in the middle I will add a lighter lipstick to create an ombre look. And because I'm doing my lips on camera and it's super extremely hard for me, of course, it's not the perfect line. And what I will do, I will fix it with the concealer and the flat brush. And for the lipstick, I'm using MAC lipstick and shade Myth and I will apply it on the middle like this and kind of blend it with my finger and I kind of hope it looks even. It's so hard for me to do my makeup on camera and uh, I know we'll get better at it. <laughs> so we done Jordan.